Athletics and activities have always been an integral part of the Marion College experience. It's an important part of our commitment to educating the whole person. We've been doing this for over 50 years at Marion College. The fields and the courts of our athletic competition are important laboratories for character development and are an essential tool for us to educate the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. We're gonna really focus on the development of the total person. Students can come and find a, a place to plug in. In a social way, an academic way, athletic way, or just a general fitness way. Obviously we want students first, we want athletes second. Our athletic GPA is as high, if not higher, than uh, the regular college GPA. I'll be starting my 32nd year next year and I've seen 31 graduations and to me that's the most important day. Oftentimes in the past I was disappointed and even hurt a bit I must tell you when people would say, where is Marion College or what are the priorities at the college? Doesn't happen anymore. I would say that there is a buzz about Marion College unlike any other period in its history. The, the word about Marion College is, is spreading and spreading and spreading and I think it's even going to get better as I said the next four or five years with the addition of football. I have friends that go to other colleges that actually play football at NAIA schools and they're already talking about um, Marion and like their new football team. Football is like a, uh, a slice of culture. You have all different types of kids, races, ethnicities. I still want to play football and somewhere I can get a, a degree and be able to study and focus on both of them. Well, one of the areas that we need to improve on are the athletic facilities that we practice in and play our games in. In the past, it's been a very difficult task to recruit good quality student athletes with the lack of facilities that we had. The cycling center uh, was just a garage when I came. We all looked at it and said, you know, this could be a really neat place for the cyclists and we could make a combination space where a community can use it as well. Marion College has a tremendous history of marvelous athletes and tremendously dedicated coaches that achieve great things. Now, with your help and investment, we're going to give them the fields and the facilities they need to continue. Join me now on a tour to see our exciting developments in new athletic fields and facilities for our students and coaches. As you enter the Physical Education Center, you pass through the Hall of Champions foyer, a gathering area designed to honor the achievements of former athletes and coaches and preserve an important dimension of the college's history. Attached to the lobby is the main gym, home of Marion College Knights basketball games. Just off the lobby area are the expanded and renovated locker rooms, training facilities, and the new hydro area. On the second floor is the new, beautifully designed space dedicated to the health and wellness of our entire campus. It includes racquetball courts, a cardio fitness room that can be used for yoga, dance, and martial arts. Student athletes and members of the Marion College community will also enjoy the new state-of-the-art fitness center which includes cardio equipment, treadmills, stationary bikes, free weights, and universal machines in an inviting and beautiful space, making it easy for all to commit to a fitness routine. As we look across campus, we see the new Marion College Cycling Center, a training and testing facility unlike any other in the Midwest. World-class physiological and biomechanical testing services increase the training time for the college's national championship cycling team. This unique facility also provides new opportunities for biology students to conduct research into human physiology and biomechanics. The physical education and cycling centers represent the indoor athletic facilities on campus. As we move to the outdoor facilities, 
we see the existing baseball diamond. Just south is the new softball field that gives the women's team a permanent home on the main campus. The outdoor facilities stretch south to 30th Street and include the ball diamonds and eight tennis courts and are nestled against an urban woodlot that runs along the western edge of the complex. At the southern end of the campus is the multi-purpose facility that'll be home to the new Marion College football team and existing track and field programs. With a versatile artificial turf surface, it'll support multiple sports and activities, including football, soccer, intramural sports, and marching band. Surrounded by an eight-lane track, Marion College's track teams will have their own home venue, a first for the program. Equipped with stadium-style seating, lights, scoreboard, and press box, this multi-purpose facility can also be used for non-athletic gatherings like academic ceremonies, rallies, fairs, and other community events. A lot of colleges already have these facilities. It will be totally different having our own facility and I think recruiting will, uh, will be bolstered by that. With more students, we're going to have uh, richer discussions in classes. We'll have more students in classes. We'll have greater participation in intramurals. Uh, all of the student organizations on campus will benefit by the influx of new blood, so to speak, in, into these organizations. And I think overall, uh, there's just going to be more folks to enjoy the full life of the college here at Marion. Most of our graduates stay in the state of Indiana. So the payback for a donor at Marion College is basically an investment in the state of Indiana. And athletics is a part of that. If they do put down the money to do that, they know that it's going to a good cause. You know that it's going to Marion College. You're, you know it's going to promote, promote sports and athletics, and it's all going to good things. There is movement on this campus to, to create a more contemporary, a more vibrant, and a more student-centered kind of environment. I think donors can get behind that. You just watched with me a very exciting plan that will do much to help us dramatically advance the mission of this college. But stay tuned, there's much more to come.